And also troops of the Nigerian Air Force stationed at Dobon in Takai, local government area of Kano State, have successfully apprehended a notorious kidnapper, 35 year old Isa Abdul. The operation conducted on February 19th was executed based on credible intelligence regarding the hideout of the high profile kidnappers and his gang. Preliminary investigations have linked him to the abduction for a 30 million naira ransom of Yakubu Ibrahim Tagaho, who was abducted sometime in April 2023. According to NAF spokesman Air Vice Marshal Edward Gabquit, Abdul is currently in the custody of the Nigerian efforts undergoing further investigation. And the National State Commander of the Nigerian Police Force has arrested no fewer than 109 suspected illegal miners operating in the Nasarawa Ekon local government area of the state. Speaking while parading the suspects at the police area command in Lafia on Tuesday, the Commissioner of Police, Umar Sheikh Dada, said the suspects were arrested following painstaking efforts by officers of the anti-kidnapping unit of the command in collaboration with the vigilante group of Nasarawa Egon local government area. He explained that the operation commenced from Mada Station to Wakama community around the Aloganic Mountain stretch, which kidnappers use as a hideout to keep their victims until a ransom is paid. We were able to arrest some illegal miners, about 109 of them that are here, and we immediately take them into custody and we have commenced investigation. We are ready to partner with the state government with a view to ensuring that these illegal miners are profiled and then further necessary action will follow. We wish to give these artisanal miners operating in the state illegally a second chance. That is why we are here today to solicit and collaborate with the Commissioner of Police and the Police Authority so that we can get them on bail, profile them, and register them for further engagement. On this note, I strongly pull to them as an order and a last chance to repair from their illegal operation and form cooperative groups and get registered with the Ministry of Trade and Industry and Investment as a first. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.